I have polycythemia vera, and it's a myeloproliferative neoplasm, as if you've seen some of my other videos, you'd know. Um, and I got my DNA tested, and I used that raw um, data and put it in Prometheus, which I absolutely love. And with that came back the information. The first thing that popped up is the JAK2 positive um, mutation. I had like, I think six different incidences where it's like you have a high um, probability of getting this, you know, all of them. I think five were the high probability. And then the one was um, you do have uh, this, um, I guess, a gene mutation, right? It just gave the final one, right? You do have it. So it was like a positive. Now, um, I did put in um, my parents' information. I was able to get that from them, which to me, you can receive a lot of things from your parents. And as everyone knows, I'm doing, um, according to my other videos, I'm kind of referring back to what I've already done, um, but like legacy projects. And I think one great thing that we should all consider doing is actually leaving a legacy of our DNA, if possible. I know there's a lot of other things that you need to consider before making this decision, completely your own decision. For me, it was important because this is something I'm dealing with and I want my son to have full access to whatever he needs while I can give it to him. And so I made sure I give him my DNA. My parents were amazing and they let me have theirs. So, you know, perfect, right? Um, so we have two generations um, with us. Um, anyhow, on uh, my dad's side, he did have multiple um, indications where it said he had a JAK2 mutation, and yet it didn't say you actually have um, a myeloproliferative, I can never say that, neoplasm, like you have it. It just says you have a high um, likelihood of getting this or X amount higher than others. So there was a mutation, it just didn't make it the full thing. Now, I, I don't quite understand it just yet. And I'll go talk to my doctor and you know figure that out. I don't see the specialist for a few months, so that will be in time, right? So that was one thing. Um, I, I'm just kind of having a lot of this on my mind. Um, not only just the genetic factors, and how it's it's usually, I mean, from what I hear, it's something spontaneous and people get the mutation, but more and more, I, I, I kind of looked at some of my group things because I was like, this sucks, man, I don't want it. Number one, I'll be totally honest, my biggest concern is my son. I mean, what's done is done on my half, but I have a baby and like, it just totally has panicked me inside, to be completely honest. Um, not that I don't mind me, but I am here and what's done is done is, is my, I guess my thoughts on this. Um, but I'm concerned about my son and I really, this is even more of a push, like let's get this done. I don't want, you know, anything to happen. So, um, I want him to be healthy and happy and a long, just full life, you know, anyhow. So, um, with that, um, also we had a family friend. So that was the genetic part. This is, also like the living um, in close uh, quarters with someone, we had a family friend and love her like a second mom. Just, she's just, oh my God, I love her. Anyhow, she um, lived with us when we were younger. She and her family moved in for a little while. Um, I, my mom was a single mom. She was a single mom. They, you know, were supporting each other, great friends. Just, you know, how, how women can be to be to be with each other. It's just very supportive and kind. It was wonderful. And anyhow, um, we've been friends forever. She got me through a lot of college of all my gossip and craziness of like working hard, going to school and where's my sanity and all of that. She was wonderful. Um, she actually had essential thrombocythemia and she, um, she had three different cancers and she actually passed away, uh, this last year. And it's, it's still, it's so weird. I don't know. It's just, it's hard to go on about that. But I guess the point of this is, um, sorry, weird. Anyway, sorry. Um, the thing is, is she did live with us and we did have that, you know, closeness 
And so I kind of wonder, you know, did she have some mutation? Was it because we were living close together? You know, was there something in our circumstances? You know, I don't know. Um, with my dad, he and my mom were divorced when I was younger, and we lived separately. Um, so I don't know how much of that could be correlated. Was it genetic? Was it because we lived in the same area? Was there something there? I don't know. Um, it's just kind of a question I'm posing because it's I'm, I'm getting two different strands of you know household versus uh, genetic, which you kind of I guess putting together the puzzle pieces. In the end, I am who I am, and I have what I have. My concern is is what can we do to um, just figure this out for the future. Anyhow, this is kind of um, I guess my my thoughts for the moment and I would just love any feedback or any understanding or other experiences and just answers so um, just something on my mind I, I just anyway nature versus nurture and how does this thing come about and what can we do to help any future generations